Well guys, I thought it was due time I do an update on the uh, Renegade here. Uh, I've been picking away at it for the last, I don't know, a couple weeks or so I guess. Uh, working at getting the motor out of it. Um, it's a lot of work. There is a ton of electrical connections on this side that has to come off. And all kinds of brackets and different things. The intake is out of it. The throttle body's laying up there. The uh, throttle cable is still connected. Um, brake master cylinder there it is there had to move out of the way so that's unbolted uh, this floorboard is gone obviously out of here um, yeah I can't even remember half the stuff I've had to move <clears throat> and I haven't even um, disconnected the drive shafts yet they're still connected uh, coolant draining the coolant out of it was a pain um, it says there's a drain bolt on it or whatever, so you start unscrewing it, <clears throat> and as soon as you crack it, it starts pouring out. But depending on where it is, when you turn the threads, it could be going any direction at all. And uh, by the time you finally get it out, it's like that long, like two inches long. So by the time you actually get it out, it's just gushing everywhere. So out of all the coolant in the bike, that's about how much I got in the bucket so that was awesome but no big deal we can get by that uh, on this side I finally got this off just now um, one of the bolts for the heat shield was stripped actually it wasn't the bolt it was just uh, it's a carriage bolt that goes through like up this way so you can't really get to the head on it and the nut and the end of it sticks up top so it was just spinning in the thin heat shield so I had to cut that off uh, I just need another bolt to replace it, that's all. But I might ditch the heat shields all together and then just wrap the exhaust. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. But yeah, next thing i got to take off is the nice NPP head pipes that I got on here. That took me forever to get back on, so that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to have to remove the exhaust or not. Might be able to just unbolt it and swing it out of the way because it's not the stock one. The stock one would definitely have to come off. Um, yeah, ECM is off. I'm sending that away to get reflashed. Um, bunch of other nonsense just up here. Uh, there's the belt. The original belt is actually pretty good on it, all things considered. You can see the cord there a little bit, but yeah, it's. Lots of life left in that. Uh, clutches are over there. I got those off. This thing has studs on it, which I didn't know. Um, out of the that shaft and that shaft, there's a stud instead of a bolt, which was kind of a pain to get off. My old puller worked, which is good, even though it's supposed to be a different part number. But the old puller I had for my 2010 popped the uh, primary off, no problem. Uh, there's just a huge pile of parts over here from the Renegade. Um, there's 300 Honda plastics in there, but everything else is Renegade parts. Um, yeah, I guess when you start talking about it, there wasn't really that much stuff that came off of it so far, but it certainly feels like it. So, yeah, next thing I gotta do is unbolt the exhaust, <clears throat> and then I gotta disconnect the front and rear drive shafts <clears throat> not sure how to do that yet and uh, then see if I can't weasel the motor out the motor is still bolted in the frame too, I gotta unbolt it but <clears throat> we're definitely getting there getting closer and closer anyway so anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to like the video and uh, leave a comment below and subscribe if you like the channel. Thanks guys. Alright, so here's something pretty crazy. This here is the bolt that holds your rear yoke to the shaft. Right there. It goes in, in the yoke right there. So I didn't need a wrench to take this off. It literally just turned out with my fingers. It was so loose. 
doesn't look like there's any Loctite on it or anything like that. I'm going to take a wild guess and say there probably should have been. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Bolt, bolt backed out on the front drive shaft and stripped the collar right out of it. And uh, bolt was completely loose on the rear end too. No Loctite there either. So yeah, pretty awesome about that. Oh well, at least I caught it before something bad happened. I don't think it could do much there anyway. Not like on the uh, front end.